the probable cause affidavit in regards to missing girl Harmony Montgomery and the arrest of her father, Adam Montgomery, in the state of New Hampshire, in Manchester, New Hampshire, has been released today. The news station WMUR uh, was able to get that unsealed today, and they have put it on their website, and I've downloaded it. I'm going to read through it. So at the front, it says that it's for Adam Montgomery, second-degree murder, tampering with witnesses and informants, falsifying physical evidence, and abuse of a corpse. So those are the four charges that they were able to get. And the uh, officer is John Dunleavy. It starts with his introduction and background. He's a police officer with New Hampshire and his training and the years on the force. So item number, letter A, number four, probable cause. On November 18th, 2021, the Manchester Police Department received a call from a woman determined to be Crystal Shorey, Sorry, regarding her biological daughter, Harmony Montgomery, date of birth 6-7-2014. Sorey reported that Harmony, who was in the physical custody of Sorey's ex, was missing and that she hadn't seen Harmony in over six months. Sorey identified her ex as Adam Michael Montgomery. An employee of the Manchester Police Department contact, contacted DCYF and learned of previous addresses associated with Adam. Manchester police officers checked those addresses but were unable to locate Adam or Harmony. On December 27, 2021, DCYF notified the Manchester Police Department that they were also unable to locate Harmony. Consequently, the Manchester Police Department initiated an investigation into the whereabouts of Harmony. Over the following days, members of the Pol Manchester Police Department learned that Harmony had not been physically seen since approximately October-November 2019. Sorry, who resides in Massachusetts, notified authorities that she had not seen Harmony since around Easter of 2019, approximately April 21st. The child had been in the physical and legal custody of her biological father, Adam Montgomery, pursuant to a decision and order from the Lawrence Juvenile Court. It has the docket number, and it was dated on February 21st, 2019. The case was subsequently assigned to me during my follow-up with Crystal. She explained that she had lost custody of the child in 2018 to the state of Massachusetts, in part due to substance issues. Crystal said that both she and Adam had past issues with substance abuse. Crystal reported that since then she had regained sobriety and unsuccessfully made attempts throughout 2021 to locate Adam and Harmony. Adam and his subsequent partner, Kayla Montgomery, had blocked all communication with Crystal through phone numbers and social media applications. Crystal said over the years she made attempts to locate Harmony by contacting various schools and driving by addresses associated with Adam but was unable to make any progress. Crystal said that she believes she last physically saw Harmony during a FaceTime video call with Adam around e Easter 2019. Crystal stated that Adam was visible in the background of the video call. Crystal recall recalled that Harmony seemed frightened. Beginning on December 27, 2021, members of the Manchester Police Department actively made attempts to track down Adam and talked to involved family members to establish the last time that Harmony was physically observed and known to be safe. Officers and investigators were initially unable to make contact with Adam via phone. However, investiga investigators were able to make contact with various family members, including parties associated with Adam who reside in Florida. Through those family members, investigators received information that Adam had previously admitted to giving Harmony a black eye in approximately July 2019. Okay, so this is section B. First interview with Kayla Montgomery. This is Adam's wife. On December 28th, 2021, I spoke with Adam's wife, Kayla Montgomery. Kayla shares three younger children with Adam who are all presently accounted for. During my follow-up with Kayla, I asked about the last time she had physically seen Harmony. Kayla said that sometime in November or December of 2019, she saw Harmony one morning prior to going to work. Adam said that he was driving Harmony back to Crystal, who was living in Massachusetts at the time. Kayla said that she believed Harmony had been returned to Crystal. Kayla claimed she never saw or heard about Harmony after that day. 
November or December of 2019 is when she said this was the last time she had seen her. Kayla had not physically seen Adam since late October 2021 and had not spoken with him since around mid-November 2021. Kayla claimed Adam was living in a sober house and had left the area to live in Maine with another female. God help her. Paragraph C is first contact with Adam Montgomery. On December 31st, 2021, patrol officers were able to make contact with Adam and his new girlfriend, Kelsey, together sleeping in a vehicle in the area of Harville Street in Manchester. I'm not going to say her last name. Investigators, including myself, Detective Koychak, Kozochak, yeah, and Detective Riley responded to that location to speak with the couple. Kelsey claimed that she had been romantically involved with Adam for over a year. She said that she was aware that Adam has three children from one mother and another child from before that. However, Kelsey said that Adam was not in touch with any child from his prior relationship. Kelsey claimed that Adam had never talked about Harmony and she had no information on where she may be. During our interaction with Adam, we stressed our concern that Harmony had not been physically observed in over two years and that we had concern for whether or not she was still alive. Adam did not exhibit much emotion or reaction to this. Section D, further interview with Kayla Montgomery. Also on December 31st, 2021, Kayla Montgomery participated in a voluntary interview with Detective Riley and myself. During this interview, she spoke about the last time she saw Harmony. In this interview, she told us that two days after Thanksgiving 2019, which would have been 11-30-2019, Adam had taken her to work, which she said was at 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. shift at Dunkin' Donuts on Eddy Road in Manchester. She said that while Adam was dropping her off, he said he was bringing Harmony to her Harmony mom's house. And he was going to meet Harmony's mom and bring Harmony to stay with her. Kayla said later that day, Adam picked her up and he no longer had Harmony. He said he had just dropped Harmony off. Kayla said she assumed Adam dropped Harmony off in Massachusetts as that is where Kayla was living at the time. Detectives were concerned about Kayla's account that Adam claimed he was bringing Chris Harmony to Crystal especially because Crystal outright denied ever taking custody of Harmony from Adam at that time or ever seeing Harmony following the video chat in April 2019. The investigation revealed that in November 2019, Crystal lived at 39 Chapel Street in Massachusetts, Lowell, Massachusetts, with her boyfriend, Joseph. On December 31st, 2019, 21, Joseph was interviewed and he confirmed that he was living with Crystal in 2019 and Harmony was not with Crystal at all from October 2019 to present. In fact, Joseph stated that he has never met Harmony in person. A review of the DCYF involvement indicates that social workers had not viewed Harmony since December 1st, uh, excuse me, October 1st, 2019 during a home visit with Adam Montgomery in New Hampshire. Not only have family members not seen Harmony since 2019, DCYF con contacted the Manchester School District on September 10th, 2021. A representative from the school district stated that Harmony was not registered in the district. Section E says family court order locating and protective supervision of Harmony Montgomery. On December 31st, 2021, the Ninth District Circuit Family Division Manchester granted protective supervision of Harmony to DCYF from Adam via a juvenile abuse neglect ex parte order. At the time of the order, Adam had been Harmony's sole custodian. The order stated specifically that Adam was ordered to cooperate with the Manchester Police Department and assist with locating Harmony. Detective Riley served Adam with that order on the afternoon of December 31st, 2021 at approximately 1610 hours. However, Adam refused to provide any information on the whereabouts of Harmony. When handed the order by detectives and told that he had to provide information on Harmony's whereabouts, Adam said, either arrest me or I'm leaving, and refused to answer additional questions. Adam was arrested on charges relating to Harmony on 
January 4th, 2022, and was formally charged and arraigned on January 5th, 2022. These charges consist of second-degree assault for an incident in July 2019, interference with custody, and two charges of endangering the welfare of a child. He has been detained at the Hillsborough County Courthouse of correction since that date. I will continue in a moment. This is a 10 minute long video now, and I'll do these in the probably 10 minute increments.